What up, y'all? Welcome back to Ruckus TV. Today, we're unboxing the Fitech LS1 EFI air intake for the Ruckus Drift Car. Here we go. So here in front of me, we've got the Fitech EFI air intake for the LS. Originally, I was just gonna use the old air intake, uh, the injectors, the fuel rails and all that, but as I was pulling it apart, I noticed one of the injectors, the whole center was blown out. I looked up, wanted to see how much it would cost to get just get new injectors, because if I'm gonna buy one, I might as well buy eight. However, it was about $600 for new injectors. So, I found this online at summitracing.com, and I said, for $1,000, I can get a whole setup, fuel rails, injectors, the air intake, a 102 a throttle body. I said, yeah, hit me up. Boom, oh, here we go. So inside the box, of course, you've got the instructions. We've got parts list, nice little sticker there. Uh, warranty, it looks like a three-year warranty on it. Do not return to the store, so you're gonna wanna call them if you have any issues registration form oh this is beautiful now the box was kind of a little beat up when I got it I was a little worried but everything looks good inside let's see, pull this out here oh, I've been wanting a 102 throttle body for the longest so there it is let's get up close and personal with that yeah I'm digging it I love the red too. So, so I got a little little splashes of red fuel rails here. For the fuel rails, I'm actually thinking I might, might want to run the fast. Uh, I did buy some LS, the fast ones or whatever, but they do send you some fuel rails, which are really nice. They're anodized, it looks like. Let me see that there. It's anodized black or powder coated I think that's a dash four there we're running we're gonna be running a dash eight so I do have all the fittings for that but like I said I might want to run the LS fast LS ones here you have a crossover now I, I'm probably not gonna use this because again it's a dash four then you've got the mounting hardware right there okay and a little more mounting hardware you've got the gaskets right here for the air intake then we got the map sensor right there you've got a temp sensor right there the injectors compared to the stock ones these are so much smaller and then of course let's get into the last but not least the big daddy and I think this is a medium rise There it is. Fitech. It's got Fitech written on the top there. A little embossed. Here's where the gaskets go, of course. And this is for the cathedral port. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look inside there if you can see. See those. Yeah, that's beautiful. Kind of like a glossy look to it. I love it though. I actually wish it were chrome, but I'll deal with this. I'll set it for this. And then you got your sensor. That's for your map sensor in the back there. Then you got your you've got your vacuum ports right here. Now we're probably only going to use I think one or two of these. I may be using one for the the uh, brake booster as well. So so I might use three of them and then just plug one up. But I think they come with, I think you can get you get plugs with it. Maybe I'm mistaken by that, but either way, put that together. I'm excited. Ah, it's sweaty in this garage. It's about 100 degrees in Vegas today. But uh, anyway, I got another couple parts coming. Really looking forward to unboxing those as well. Until then, be the ruckus, bring the ruckus, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Coming soon.